Happy Tuesday, my loves. I hope you guys are doing all right. It's been a long day for me. It started off early with Mambo stuff this morning, and I was like, I'm still trying to catch up. So uh, I'm happy to be here because I was like, I got to do spirit messages at some point or else I'm going to get behind. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Kochita is a lot of hair to be carrying today, but we making it. We doing our best. We trying to be cute. We making it. Um, I want to thank a lot of you. I finally caught up from when my phone and my laptop and everything was just acting a plum fool for me. And I had to put readings off or move readings, you know, to a different day. I finally caught up with everybody that was supposed to get a reading. So I appreciate you guys for being patient with me. Um, you know, it's one of those things. I don't like to give Mercury credit, but it's, I swear it's like every time there's a retrograde, especially with communication, I end up having to get a new phone or get a new computer or whatever. My kids can even vouch for that. It's just crazy to me how it happens. So I need to go ahead and start working free, getting ready for it before it hits because I just, oh, I can't keep doing this. I, I can't keep doing this. So for those that, you know, were patient with me, that, you know, were able to have me move the readings over. And for some of you, I know with the, the messenger, it had that weird echo. I sound like Darth Vader and then it was breaking up and it was just like, okay, we're not even going to do it. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate, appreciate you being patient. All right. Now, you know how we do this. Pick a message between one through six. Ask your ancestors, your God, your goddess, what is the message for you? What do you need to hear? And then listen, listen to what spirit has to tell you. Um, it's weird because this morning when I had somebody was like, okay, it's emergency. We need you. Come on. We need you to do this. And I was like, oh, it's my only day off. Tuesdays are literally my only days off. And they're like my days off because then I got to catch up on housework and bills and all that stuff like that, that I don't do the rest of the week. So it was like, uh, -huh. but I was like, okay, spirit. All right, give me a minute. Let me pull through because a lot of times when they call, when they ask for us to do things, you you want to follow through. And I've been blessed. They've done so much for me. So it's like, okay, I'm not going to tell y'all. I'm not going to get up and do it. And then, of course, I signed up to be a priestess. So it's like, okay, you got to do it. But it, it turned out to be a blessing. I really got blessed today. So I want to thank Spirit for the amazing things that they're doing, how they're moving in my life, the people that they're bringing in. Um, I just, you know, sometimes you have to sit back and go, you know what? Life can be a lot harder, but I'm grateful. I'm grateful for where I'm at and I'm grateful for the things that are actually working for me in my favor and for the people around me. So for some of you that, you know, we know y'all been going through a hard time. We see the breakthrough that's coming in, you know, be, be grateful, be grateful, be appreciative of your spirits that are opening up doors for you and, and things that, you know, especially when you've been pushing so hard and you start to see that breakthrough, because I'm happy. A lot of you definitely have some really great things that are happening for you right now, and I'm celebrating with you. I really am. So let's get into this message. Let's see what else, what, what we got coming in. It better be a good message after that too, y'all. I'm going to be really highly upset if Spirit come in with some fucked up shit after we just did all that. All right, so messages for my people spirit 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 what do they need to hear messages for the people let's see what we got coming in ah oh, spirit come on come on hit us with some stuff right off the bat but let's see what it's about let's see what it's about it may be something that is fixable huh maybe not <laughs> A work in progress. Thank you, Spirit. Oh. All right. Let's go ahead and let those three fall. Card number three. Mm-hmm. Oh, card number three. Card number four. Spirit, come on. But you know what? It could be the energy of what's going on in the world right now, to be honest. For some, there could be a feeling of being overwhelmed. Um mentally confused worried about your money because that seems to be the message all right card number four spirit card number four i think you've been getting this card a lot card number no that's card number five card number six spirit what's going on with card number six okay all right 
maybe. Oh, we have one more that flipped over. Let's see. Is that it? Let's go ahead and clarify card number five, Spirit. Card number five. What's going on? What's going on? Whoa. All right. We got it. Let's see what we have. Card number one. Card number one, we have anger. We have mental confusion. If you chose card number one, you're going through some things. Now, there could be a lot of times, I want to say, whenever the mental confusion card comes up, it's like a decision that needs to be made and you're putting it off. There could be this thing of, I want to go left, but maybe I should go right. But if I go right, then I won't be able to go left. It's almost like that angel devil energy, you know, one telling you to do something, the other telling you not to do something. Now, for some of you, you could be dealing with conflict. There may be some issues that are going on around you with a person or people around you that's causing this mental confusion because it looks like that you're being pulled in a couple of different directions and some of you are having a hard time making a decision. Um, you could have some conflict that's going to be coming your way. For some of you, it could be with the next cards, could be people that you work with. So I will say, um, you know, if this is a coworker or somebody that you're having an issue with that's causing mental confusion, or you feel like every time you go into work, there's some type of drama or something that you have to deal with. Some of you may be looking for another job. Some of you may be working with people that just are difficult, difficult people. Let me go ahead and turn this on. Difficult people to deal with. Um, the message is literally do what's right for you. Now, if you're dealing with a situation that is so chaotic that you like, I can't even think about it. I can't think, I can't think straight. You know, these people are, are causing me to feel very discombobulated. Then you need to pull away. You need to pull away from the environment. For a few of you, though, I feel like that you definitely are going to be leaving a job, leaving a situation, moving forward. For some of you, we got number three, card number three, which is literally speak up, get confident, stand your ground. So if you have someone that's kind of pushing you, card number one, some of you have the option of, I don't want to put energy into it. I'm not going to say anything about it. I'm going to walk away um, because I don't want this. I don't want this energy. I don't want this confusion. I don't want to feel like this. And then it could be somebody who's very angry. You may be dealing with someone that is not in their right mind because they're so angry. If this is your energy, this could even be you. Like, I'm so upset with the situation. I can't even think straight. So for some of you, it's either you're going to remove yourself from the situation or you may end up standing your ground and telling these people whatever you need to hear or whatever you need to say, I'm sorry, because you're, you're tired. You don't want to put the energy into them. You don't want to be involved in their drama or whatever it is that's causing this anger. Card number two. Y'all, let me close this door. I leave it open for the cats to go in and out. But we got some pulley on there. Oh, he, he ain't got a fucking job. day back and forth back and forth back and forth right outside the door Ugh. you know somebody need to throw some hot foot powder right in his path to make that shit go away hmm. all right card number two card number two the first thing that came out is work conflict and then we got money loss for some of you, I'm wondering if this word conflict is literally that you're having some type of disagreement, there's some confusion about what this boss or this manager or the supervisor wants you to do, or you could be dealing with somebody in a job situation that is causing some type of irritation or frustration. If not, some of you definitely could be dealing with this card number two in your own right, where it's like, I am tired of working with these people. There's a lot of gossip. There's maybe even some disorganization, whether this is on them or on you, that's causing you to lose money. Now, for some, spirit is like, okay, it's time to go ahead and look for a new job. Put your resume out, put your stuff out. You need to go ahead and get another job. If you're working something where there's a lot of conflict, you feel discombobulated, things are not going the way you want to go, your money is funny, what the fuck? Why would you stay there? Why would you stay on a job or, or, you know, something that is not paying you what you deserve and you're dealing with all the stress? And I feel like some of you are coming to the realization that, yeah, I'm not making any money. I need to start looking for another job. I need to really get serious about bringing in some money. Some of you may have dealt with money loss and you figured out a way to bring some money in. Either way it goes, card number two 
if you're dealing with a lack of income and it's because of people that you're dealing with in your work, your coworkers, a supervisor, a, a boss, whoever is over you, some of you are going to be putting in your resume or your application and looking for something else, card number two. And spirit is saying that you need to do it. Card number three. Card number three, we have somebody who's speaking up. Now, if we read the first row as a whole, we have anger. We have somebody that's literally trying to keep you confused, play with your mind, causing you to be stressed out. There's gossip. There's other people involved with it. I'm losing money. I'm going to have to go look for another job. Some of you to speak up and confident woman is basically like, I'm turning in my today or two, two days. You know what? Because you know, as soon as you put that two week notice in, you out. So for some of you, it may be literally, they may, you know, they fire, they try to fire you the same day. When you put your two week in, it's like, oh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, they'll tell you, oh, you can go ahead and just pack your stuff up and go. They don't tell you that when you turn your paperwork in, they let you work that full day. Then they tell you they don't need you anymore. But for some of you, you could be speaking up. Now, this may not have anything to do with a job, but literally what this is, somebody is finding their confidence, whether you are a male or a female, I am speaking up. I'm putting my foot down. If we look at this card, this person's mouth was shut, sewn, shut. And now this person is kind of like finding their power. Like, I need to say something. I need to go ahead and speak on something. I need to open my mouth up. So for some of you, you definitely are going to be speaking on something that is important to you that you've been kind of quiet on. It's like, I need to talk about it. For some, it could be with a job. You may have something that you need to share with them. It could be about money. Some of you may, um, if you are working for someone and you're not being paid or you're putting your skill set out there and you're not making enough money, some of you definitely are going to be looking for another job, looking for some other thing to open up that brings in an income. And you might be telling the person that you work for can no longer work for you anymore. Confidence is showing that this person is moving in a different direction. I said what I said. Now I'm going to go ahead and go the way that I need to go for me. You got to do what you got to do, card number three. I feel like if you've been letting people cross over your boundaries, you've been letting them kind of push at you for a little bit, where it's like you're not saying anything, you're going along with it, and you felt like maybe your words had no power. Now you're kind of becoming confident. It's like, okay, the things that I say do have power. They mean something. And for some of you, you're putting down your foot. Card number four. Card number four, we have despair. We have overwhelmed. Now, this is a heavy energy. Some of you might be going through this week where it's like, Lord, I don't know what happened. I don't know what's happening. You know, you might be calling on Jesus, Buddha, uh, or whoever. Take the will because I'm feeling some kind of way. I'm feeling overwhelmed. There's some things that are coming on for me. For some of you with the card next to it, it could be manipulation. Some of you are going to be dealing with fake friends or fake energy where it's like, I thought I could come to you. I thought you could help me. Or I thought maybe that you were going to be looking out for me and you're not. Some of you, maybe you are looking for a job or an opportunity to open up, but you feel a little bit um, unmotivated. And it could be unmotivated because I have a lot on my plate that I just don't even know what direction I want to go. There's something I feel like with the planets that's happening for some this week possibly this month. And I'm not really, I don't know what's going on, but I feel like there's an energy that's coming in where a lot of people are feeling confused. Like they're trying to figure some things out. Like, give me a moment, let me work it out. So for some of you, you might be feeling this a little bit heavier than others. So I will say card number four, if you really want to pull back this week and go into hermit mode, do it. It's probably going to be the best thing for you. If you don't have the energy to put towards people or you know environments or situations, don't do it. Pull back. Take care of yourself. This is really like a self-care energy. Like, I, I can't deal with it. I really cannot deal with it this week. So I'm going to pull back and focus on what I need to focus on, which is you. Self-love this week, card number four. It could be, too, you're overthinking. I feel like with the energy, looking at the cards, like somebody is really overthinking the situation way too much. Um, if you If you're running scenarios you know, over and over in your head, well, I should have did it this way, or I could have done it this way, or maybe I should have said this, or maybe I shouldn't have said that, or, you know, maybe if I backtrack, moonwalk, pop, drop, lock, whatever, you know, I can make it right. Card number four, let it go. Let it go. It's, it's, the energy is already a little bit heavy, and I feel like that if you're overthinking it, you're making it a little bit heavier, and it's almost like you're, 
you're digging yourself into a hole, not out, but in. So if you are in a place where it's like, I really don't know what I feel. I feel overwhelmed. I feel like I'm going through a lot, you know, and I'm trying to think maybe you need to take a few days and just pull back and listen, listen to spirit, listen to your God or your goddess. What do you need me to hear? What are you going to do for me? What do I need to do for myself? I feel like some of you need to have that deep conversation with spirit. If not spirit, this could be your therapist. This could be a life coach. This could be, you know, a clergy or, you know, a, a spiritual advisor that you may need to reach out to. But I feel like for some of you, you need to shut down your, your overthinking because it's not getting you anywhere. It's like a dog chasing its tail. The energy just feels like you're going around and around in circles with no solution. So that means you got to pull back. All right. Card number five. Card number five, we have manipulation and fake friends. Now, for some of you, this is a two-sided person, um, two-faced person, however you want to say it. Um, and this person could be playing games with you. They could be telling you things to try to get you to maneuver in a certain way. There's manipulation on top of this person, which means that they have an agenda. Mm. Wonder what they want, card number five. I will say, be careful of what you hear and be careful of what you believe this month. I'm not even going to say this week, this month, because I feel like this may have been an ongoing manipulation because we got fake friend, which means that this could be somebody who's been in your energy for a while, telling you things, putting things out there that maybe aren't true. Maybe they're putting things on social media and you're thinking, oh my God, you know, I wish I could live like them or have what they have. And it's not true. There's something going on with manipulation, especially with the two faces. I think they're presenting something that is not right or not real interesting some of you could be getting catfished you could be de dealing with somebody who's showing you something but they're manipulating but there's a shadiness to this person because it's two sides to them so if you're meeting somebody and your spider senses are like like you need to pay attention to this person, you need to pay attention to the energy because there's something not quite right, especially if this person comes in too quick as a friend and you still feel like something is off. Spirit could be telling you, you need to look at them. You know, we all wear several faces, but for some of you, I feel like that this energy is not beneficial for you, especially with manipulation there. Now, it's a general read. You could be doing this to other people too. You know, you may have somebody being like, well, you being fake. You're not showing me who you really are. You're trying to manipulate me. Get in where you fit in with it. But I will say, watch people's agenda this week, this month. If it doesn't feel right, trust your instincts. Trust your instincts. Some of you, you, you may be overwhelmed where, oh, excuse me, you're only seeing things a certain way, but maybe you're seeing things the way somebody else wants you to see them. That's where the manipulation comes from. Hmm. Be careful. Be careful with the people that you're dealing with. Okay, card number six. The first thing that came out was memories, past lover. Then we have be patient. And then we have the strength card. Some of you could be getting some type of spiritual visitation. You could have someone that you lost that's coming back in and they are checking on you. You know, maybe this is somebody you were really close to. If not, some of you may be dealing with a person from the past who's coming back. I don't see reconciliation, so I'm wondering if this is just memories. I'm wondering if maybe some of you are being triggered by something from the past, and it's like, oh, let me think about it. You know, back in 1979, I made this decision that was the wrong decision for me, and now I'm paying for it. I'm wondering if some of you are going through something where you're, you're being overwhelmed, there's some despair, maybe there's something that's happening in your life that's triggering you to make you feel like I need to go ahead and, you know, this is making me feel like something that happened in 2005. I don't feel like this is a good um, energy of being triggered, card number six. So I feel like some of you might be dealing with something this week or this month that's going to bring back some type of negative feelings. I don't really feel like this is, oh... I miss this person and I love them so much. I think some of you are connecting with an energy of something because the strength card is on top of this, which means that you're getting through something. 
there may be some self-reflection that's going on because of a memory or something that happened. And Spirit is saying, be patient. Be patient with yourself. If reconciliation was there, it would be like somebody's coming back from the past and maybe they want to work it out, but you're scared. You don't know what you want to do. Some of you, though, you do have a fear. You do have a fear. So maybe something came up. You know, maybe you got offered a job, but it's going back to a place where not so good memories are. Maybe uh, you got a phone call from someone who is like, hey, how you doing? And this person, the relationship ended badly. Maybe some of you are connecting with a memory of a relationship and being like, oh, man, I don't know, because patience is there. Let it work out. Give it time. Strength card is like, okay, I need to be strong. I'm stronger than this. So I feel like that card number six, there may be something that is coming in this week or this month that is making you possibly second guess yourself. Because it's right on top of this. There's some confusion. Do I go left? Do I go right? Did somebody come back? And you're like, do I take them back? Do I not take them back? There's some confusion. Spirit is like, be patient. Go with the flow. You're strong. You're going to get through it. So whatever whatever is triggering triggering you, I feel like that you will get through it, but I don't think this is an impulsive thing where you need to go ahead and make a decision today. I really don't. I feel like for some of you, if you're taking your time, maybe it's because you need to see things clearly. For some of you, you could be wearing a fake mask and you're manipulating people around because you don't want them to see who you really are. Hmm. If this is not you, then definitely, yeah, you got somebody that may be trying to play play games. Um, but with the top row, I almost feel like somebody is overwhelmed. I wonder if they're putting on a face or I don't want you to feel a certain way or think that I'm going through a hard time. So I'm going to manipulate and let you see something good because maybe I'm possibly struggling and going through something that, you know, I'm triggered. There's things in the world right now that are going on that could be taking some people back to a very, you know, chaotic time for themselves with people that maybe they love, you know, a past spouse, a relationship, children, parents. So I, it goes back to this. Be patient with yourself, card number six. You're strong. Whatever it is, you're going to get through it. Some of you, you definitely, I feel like you're going to have to reach out. If you're having money problems, it looks like that there is a new job that's coming in, a new opportunity. Some of you are definitely finding your confidence. You're starting to speak up, you know, whether you're male or female. So there may be something where you're moving from this place of mental confusion. I'm overwhelmed. Everything is going on. It's too much for me right now. I don't, I'm really not trying to add new things to my life. My money is not right. I need to get another job. You know, I'm trying to find my confidence, my voice. Hmm. But the strength card is the final card, which means that you're going to be okay. So if you're going through a hard time this week, reach out, you guys. Because some of you, it, you know, I told Spirit, don't do this. Don't put the craziness out here and they did it anyway. But some of you, I feel like you're going through something. You may have been triggered. You know, it could have been everything that's going on with Russia and the Ukraine. It could be the inflation, things that are going on. Maybe some of you may have somebody who's coming back from the past. But Spirit is like you're strong. Be patient with yourself. This energy is not going to last. It's not going to be a forever thing. If you're dealing with people that are being fake or manipulative, cut them loose. Um, if you feel like there's something that you need to speak on this week, speak on it. Don't hold it in because it's going to make you feel better. It's going to empower you. So if you've been holding something in for a while that was causing you to feel overwhelmed, you need to speak on it. You need to let it out. All right, my loves. Okay. I hope it registers. If it does not, don't worry about it. We will be back next week with a whole nother reading. I love you guys. Please be safe.